this point. So let me go ahead and this is the part in this specific episode that's the huge issue. This is the transmission message from Bail Organa to Obi-Wan and I'm going to read it again. I know we said no communication, but your silence worries me. If he's found you, if he's learned of the children, if I don't hear from you soon, I'll head to Tatooine. Owen will need help with the boy. I pray you're safe, Obi-Wan. Both of you. Do you see the problem here? <laughs> okay, repeat that one more time, because I feel like this is almost a trick question. <laughs> it's not really a trick question. It's it's, it's a deeper <laughs> level thought. If you, re- if you remember, like, Obi-Wan, what did Obi-Wan find out in episode two from Reva? What did she tell him? Uh, he's looking for you, Obi-Wan, and all that stuff. Right. What is, so Obi-Wan found out that Darth Vader, Anakin Skywalker, was still alive, right? Yeah, yeah, right. So my problem is... Obi Wan and, and Bail Organa admitted it here. I, I like I have. He said, "I know you're. Uh, you said no communication, but your silence worries me." My point here, and the big thing we're gonna drive into: How the fuck does Bail Organa know that Anakin Skywalker is still alive? He would. Yeah, he doesn't. He would. I just assumed that he didn't. I just overlooked it. <laughs> he, he he would have no idea because if Obi Wan was on this mission from Leia and he said, "Hey, Bail, no communication," and Bail Organa has not heard. From Obi Wan this entire time, Obi Wan just learned himself that Anakin Skywalker yeah. is still alive. So how the fuck would Bail Organa know that Anakin Skywalker is still alive? So when he yeah, says, "Yeah, that's a major fucking huge plot hole. plot hole, huge." Yeah, that's bad writing. That's t- 